All right, I just pulled up to our condo here in Perdido, Florida. This is gonna be my base operations for the next few days. I'd love to come here in the fall because the fishing is lights out. Let me show you the place. All right, it's super windy today. Obviously, I hope that settles down over the course of this week, but even in the wind here, you got some options. All right, next time you see me, it'll be tomorrow morning, and I'll probably be in the surf. All right, we are nice and early, as you can tell. Sun's just starting to brighten the horizon. I did some scouting yesterday and found a bar that runs real close to the beach here. Beautiful setup. The tide is out, which I don't like. I like a rising tide that's high first thing in the morning. I'm hoping it is rising since it is so low. We're gonna make first cast of the morning. I'll show you what I'm fishing when it gets a little bit brighter. Still super dark. <laughs> I'm definitely early. And as I expected, it is windy. Blowing 15 right now, maybe a little bit more than that. There's a fish. Let's see what that is. Hopefully it's a flounder. Looking, nope. I think it's a big trout. It sure the heck is, it's a big speckled trout. Look at this. Big, beautiful speck. That's a beautiful trout. Look at this fish. Big, beautiful speckled trout. All right. That's actually my first trout that I've caught in the surf here. That's about a 22 inch fish. It's a really nice trout. And he took it deep. So awesome. I don't know if you can see that fish yet. That's how early it is. Look at that. All right. Yeah, I know, dude. There we go, we got it out. All right, I need fish and I need fish carcasses for my crab traps. I'm actually gonna keep that fish. It's a fish I would definitely release back at home, but I need him today. Man, great start to the morning. See if we can duplicate that. That fish was not very far from the beach at all. He was right in this trough here. There's a fish. I don't know, it could be another trout. Definitely feels like it. We'll see if we get the seam. Nope, flounder, there we go. That's what we were wanting to catch. I mean, believe me, I'm not disappointed with that trout in the least, but the target species, definitely these flounder. Good flounder run here, this time of year. And this is the first of the season for me. Definitely hooked very well. All right, this guy's about a half an inch short. We gotta let him go. Let's go release him. Try and catch a bigger one. There you go. Swim out, big guy. There we go, you got it. So much of successful surf fishing is finding the right spot. Really, I guess like any fishing. So I scout these beaches in the afternoon when the sun's high and find where these bars are and fish the adjacent troughs. You can't see them in the morning, obviously. I mean, I guess if you're really good at reading waves and reading water, you could, but I can't. So I find them the afternoon before, and that's what tells me where to fish. Really good trough right here. It's casting distance from the beach. And it's obviously holding a few fish. Current time is 626. Sunrise this morning is 641. Now, if you come out here and you want to do this, then I would definitely recommend you come here and do this. If you want to harvest any of these flounder, you got to do it the first two weeks of October, because then the season closes. It's closed for six weeks or so. You can't harvest any of them. I typically don't. Today, I probably will if I catch a legal one. But I usually let them... Oh, shoot, that was a good bite. I usually let them go. Which, let's face it, is kind of stupid because flounder are absolutely delicious. And I do have a great flounder stuffing recipe. I'll link to that video here so you can see it. You actually completely debone the fish before you stuff it. It's one of my favorite ways to cook fish. So good. Oh, daggummit, I got drilled, I missed him. It's so windy this morning, it's 
tough to fish without a big belly in the line. Ideally, doing this, you want a north wind. Just lays down the surf, makes everything a whole lot easier. But this is still fun, absolute blast. Oh, I broke off. Oh, 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 shoot. He was hooked up for a minute. It wasn't a break on the set. The failure was something with teeth. Well, we got the retie. Oh yeah, line's all frayed. Something with teeth, probably bluefish or a Spanish. So we'll talk a little bit about tackle now. All right, I'm throwing a quarter ounce death grip jig head with a green power prawn. I don't know what the official name for this power prawn is. I'll look it up. This is a great fall bait, but the water's got a little bit of color to it, a little stain, that's why I went with this green today. I generally prefer that natural color. After that sun gets up, I may have to switch, but we'll see. All right, that's my setup. Disappointing losing that fish, but I don't think it's anything we wanted. Still would like to see it. Such a beautiful morning. Look how pretty it is out here. Love being here. That sun's just about to pop up over the horizon. This is just such a beautiful spot. I knew when I saw it yesterday I'd catch fish here. You really can't just walk out to the Gulf and start casting. You gotta find these areas with these troughs within close casting distance. And that's what we have here. Oh, other bite. There's one. There's one. I think that's a flounder. I think that's a flounder. Yep, sure is. He might be a keeper. He's long and skinny, let's see. Um, having my doubts now. Thinking he's not legal, let's see. No, he's a good bit shorter than the other one. I marked on my rod, these fish have to be 14 inches. And this one is not, he's about 12. Not big, but when you can walk out of your back door and come do this in this beautiful surf on the beach, how can you not? How can you not? It's just so awesome out here. There he is. I don't know what this is. This feels weird. This doesn't feel like a flounder. If it is, it's a world class. It is a foul hooked, foul hooked whiting. All right, well, we're gonna eat him. It's a nice whiting. Those are really, really good to eat. In Louisiana, we call him channel mullet. Hooked him right in the pectoral fins. We'll let him expire right there and take him home. This is absolute paradise. If you can get over here and do this, this time of year, you have got to do it. Great fishing, great weather. I mean, look how beautiful this place is. Gorgeous. This is our home away from home. We come here any chance we get. Oh, another bite. Shoot, <laughs> we missed him. Good hit. Now with this power prawn, I definitely do like to bounce it. If I were throwing a matrix, which is another bait I really love in the surf, I kind of more swim it, particularly for these flounder. Oh no! <laughs> I was afraid of that. Too late now. Shoot. He got it. He won that one. Damn. <laughs> he was watching you, man. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I kept checking back. He beat me. Here comes Mrs. Marsh, man. That heron got my whiting. I had it sitting up here, letting it die. What? That heron, he got my fish. I had a whiting up here. Where's your trout? I got that in the bag. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen and I kept checking back, but I didn't want to put him in here alive because he'd get sand all over my bag. But, oh. but I just need you to take this back okay. and just throw it in the fridge. But yeah, I caught two flounder, a whiting. Man, I'm sad I lost that whiting <laughs> and a big trout. He's a little bit happy. All right, made his day. Man, I'm bummed to lose that whiting. That was a stupid mistake on my part. I knew it was a risk. I kept checking, but he got it when I wasn't looking. Oh, there's something. Doesn't feel very big. I bet it's a flounder. Oh, now he's getting a little big. Now he's getting an opinion. It's a 
it's another whiting. All right, there we go. We replaced it. Not as big as the other one, but big enough to keep in filet. We won't repeat our mistake. We'll put him in the bag. Those whiting are so good to eat. Always thrilled to catch those. Now he wasn't as big as the one we lost. He was plenty big enough to filet. Oh, just missed something. Look who's back. Shady's back. Let me zip up my bag. Sorry, dude, you're not getting another one. There he is. There he is. Come on, be a big flounder. He's swimming at me. And another whiting. <laughs> awesome. Not disappointed. This is a whiting honey hole. All right, wide variety this morning. I've had trips out here where I've caught 10 or 12 flounder and nothing but flounder. And I've had other trips where it's a vast array of everything that swims. You just never know. Today, it's a lot of whiting. Bluefish, Spanish mackerel, and ladyfish are also possibilities, plus redfish. I've never caught a red in this surf. My son Joel has. All right, my bites have gone down to nothing. That's not atypical. It's an early morning bite here. Once that sun gets up, everything kind of slows down. Those fish can see really well. But I'm gonna see if I can squeak out another bite or two with a more subtle bait, more subtle color at least. I think I'm gonna go with the Holy Jolly Matrix Shad. Give that a whirl. All right, here's the Holy Jolly. Great surf color. You know, this water, even though it's got a little bit of a stain today, relative to what it normally has, it's still pretty. Now the sun's getting up. Probably a little bit prettier than I thought it was in the pre-dawn. Oh, I missed him. Oh. All right, good sign. Maybe my second or third cast with the Holy Jolie. Got a good bite. Look at that heron. He's trying to get in my bag. <laughs> he knows where the fish are. Oh, miss one. That might be those whiting. Hitting the bait and missing it. I don't know if you can tell, but that tide has started falling. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. This one will not go on the wall. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's a, oh, he came off. Oh, shoot. But I was saying that tide has started falling against this east wind and it's made it real turbulent right here. Super turbulent. I kind of like that though. Oh, here comes the heron. He saw me bowed up. He thinks he's gonna get it. Dude, the fish is already off. Oh man, I wish I had that back just to see what it was. I think it might have been a little flounder. Oh, there's one. Oh, missed another one. Shoot. It's a common problem here in the surf. Hooking up fish and losing them. Because your angle changes with these waves. You can't just keep the fish with resistance going one way, you are going to lose some fish, particularly when it's flounder. And flounder always have the advantage, not a lot of flesh in their mouths, really bony. It's always tough to land a flounder, even in perfect conditions. Oh, there's a fish. That's a flounder. That is a flounder, 100%. I can definitely tell. That is 100% a flounder. Hopefully we get to see him. Yep, flounder. Get away, dude. We're gonna disappoint the heron. This is not a keeper. We're gonna let him go. Go ahead, dude. There we go. All right, the switch to the Holy Jolie was definitely a good one. Oh, 
there's one. They are crushing the holy jolly. This feels like a better fish. Hopefully we get him through the turnover and the waves. Oh yeah, it's a better, better flounder. That's a keeper. There we go. Oh yeah, he was hooked well. We weren't gonna lose this guy. I think he's a keeper, we'll see. Maybe not, he might be undersized. We're gonna check him out. All right, this guy makes the cut. Not by much, but he's big enough. All right, switch to the Holy Jolie was definitely a good one. I mean, I, my bites had gone to zero on that power prong, probably because of the color, but they're loving this. Oh, there's one. All right. The Holy Jolie Matrix Shad, the key, 100%. Ooh, dude. Come on, I hope I get to see you. Ah, uh -uh, get out of here. Another flounder. All right, I don't know if he's big enough. Let's see. No, he's not. We're gonna let him go before the herring gets him. All right, we're not gonna be graceful on this one. There you go. Take off, dude. Swim away. There's another dude I, I gotta tell you oh that was a good one man man i lost and that was a good fish this is the best flounder action i've seen it's like every cast i expect to get hit that was a good fish that was that was a good one you're gonna lose some just part of the deal obviously disappointed whenever you lose one but you just gotta expect it and accept it oh missed another one it's funny, the fish that I hook, they just load up on the rod. I don't feel them hit. The ones I feel hit, I miss. You know, who knows? It could be whiting, tapping the bait, or it could just be small flounder. Don't know. You never know what the ones are that you miss. The great thing about surf fishing here is there's really nothing in the surf. There's no logs or anything like that. So if your bait stops, it's a fish. It's not a snag, it's a fish. I don't know if I finished my thought about this turbulent water right here, but I really like that because it provides ambush opportunities for predators. They look for stuff like that. The prey gets really disoriented. And that's being caused by this bar coming close here to the beach. We got the tide falling here, the wind going here. It's just a real confused situation. That's why these fish are concentrated here, 100%. Look, look at him, look. I want to check out my bag. Good Lord. That was a hard hit. Let's see if we get him. He's not fighting all that well, but oh, there we go. Might have an opinion. Might have an opinion. Come on, dude. Don't get off. Don't get off. All right, another whiting. Love it. All right, get out of here, dude. You're not getting this. This is dinner. This is dinner. And the carcass is crab bait. Ah, right, get out of here. Oh, there's another one. Not a big fish. Don't know what it is. Oh, it's a jack, file hook jack. All right, Mr. Heron, you've been patient. I'll give you this one. There you go, all yours. Have a feast. Look, he rinses the sand off of it. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, that adds to the variety of what we've caught today. Those jacks are common in this surf. I don't know if they're juvenile jack creval 
or some other fish, but they all seem to be right about that size. Maybe a little bit bigger. There's one. Oh, oh, came off. He came off. Got my drag too tight. Here comes Mrs. Marshman again. She's gonna take my fish back and put them on ice. This is, you can sit here for a minute? That's fine. Yeah. Good. This I is like the best fishing I've ever seen. I should have brought a towel. Ah. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. He doesn't feel big. Another whiting. A whiting honey hole. All right, we're gonna let him go. It's not quite big enough. We were fishing dead bait here. I think we killed the whiting. Not my style of fishing, but there's obviously a bunch of them here. You catch them on plastic this easily. What in the world is that? What is that? He just broke the surface. Oh, it's file hook, that's why. I think it's a file hook whiting. This to tell you how many are there. Crazy, man. Yeah, we're fighting him sideways. Oh, he got off. He got off. The heron thought he was gonna get him, but he didn't. What is that? I'm not thinking flounder. Not fighting like one. Not very big. Now he's now he's getting an opinion. I think it is a flounder now. Yep, flounder. Another flounder. Look how well these fish blend in with the sand. That's they obviously use camouflage to feed. This guy's not legal. But he will be soon. Because we're not letting the heron get him. That's for sure. What an awesome bite. Usually the bite ends when the sun gets that high. But the switch to this holy jolly has made the difference. I mean, my bites went to zero. And now most casts, I'm getting bites. Just awesome. Oh. Oh, missed him. Shoot. He was hooked up for a second. It's getting windy. Yeah. It's way worse than when I started. When started. I'm going to have to call it pretty soon. Okay. <laughs> there he is. There he is. I can't tell yet. Oh, he got off. Shoot. It's getting super windy out here. Blow it. Oh goodness. I don't know what that is. He just absolutely stopped the bait. He came up and jumped. It might be a foul hook something. He doesn't feel like a giant, but he is. I think he's foul hooked. Another whiting. Sorry, Heron. This one's big enough to fillet. <laughs> That's funny. When that fish hit, I thought, poof. I thought he was a tank. He just stopped that bait. All right, I think I'll make one more cast. It's 8.30. There's actually an NFL game this morning in Europe. Kicking off right about now. I'm gonna head back, clean my fish, bait my trap, and watch some football. Great Sunday morning. All right, just an absolutely special morning out here. I'm leaving these fish biting. The wind's getting really extreme, and I've got stuff on the agenda to take care of. But man, fall out here is just exceptional. It's just my favorite time out here. The fishing is always good. I mean, today was better than average, but even an average day out here is really, really good. Catch a 
two flounder, and then a host of other fish. You just really kind of never know. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And you can do that by clicking that button right there. And here's two videos that YouTube thinks you'll like. Check them out. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh or on the beach, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. So long, sucker. See you next time.